What's good? I'm back with another video. In today's reading, I'm going to be channeling energy for the year 2024. I was not even planning on doing this reading. And then at the very last minute, I got very inspired because I feel like there is a very big shift happening in your love life. So if you guys are here and you landed on this channel, then there is a very deep message from your higher self, from the universe regarding your love life. So I'm going to be channeling what you can expect for the year of 2024 for all zodiac signs. So if you guys are here and you want to jump directly to your zodiac sign, your sun, moon, or rising, you guys can find that down below. So shout out to Light Tribe. If you guys are here, you guys are actually getting ready to see a lot more love readings, surprisingly. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys are not subscribed, subscribe if you guys are looking for any information at all definitely check out the description box if it's not coming from the description box it's probably not me also remember that your zodiac sign it is connected to yourself remember yourself belongs to you it is not you so if you guys are on this channel welcome this is probably the deepest tarot reading that you're going to get especially if it's for your zodiac sign your zodiac is simply almost like a personality to your ego, to yourself, but it is not you. And you can tell a lot about yourself through your habits, through your traits, through your characteristic strengths, and a lot of astrologers, shout out to you guys who are really deep into the planets and the astrology and reading that language, because that truly is a language. You can even pre- determine your destiny based on that. So it's almost like working backwards, connecting your zodiac sign based on when you were born, also when the planets are aligned, all of it is just basically aligned information about you. So if you ever want to know more about your path or your destiny, then you can always use your zodiac as a reference. So in today's reading, there's 12 different zodiac signs. So jump down below if you guys want to get right to your reading. Let's jump into it. It's all about love, romance. This is not just about singles. This is also about loved ones. So remember, love is not just an intimate thing, all right? Love actually doesn't even have to do with another person. In fact, how can you share it if you don't have it, right? So already the messages are coming in. So we're going to be talking about love. Also, for the collective, the message I was getting is like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving, so in order to attract and invite more love into your life, you have to be more loving. Or you must have love in your, you must be in a frequency of love, right? Being in a frequency of love and then inviting someone into this frequency that you have created. And we're going to start off just from the top of the year all right, and we're going to start with Capricorn. So if you guys are here, let's jump right into it. All right, if you guys are here, Capricorn, let's see what your overall energy is going to be for the year of 2024, what you can expect in your love life, in love, in people, in community, just in love in general. What can you expect around the frequency of love, Capricorn, for 2024? Slow down. All right. Some of you guys could really be in a rush to find this person or move a specific relationship along. OK, I was picking up a lot of energy for all zodiac signs. And I guess I can tell you this, Capricorn, because you're ready to receive this, is that there are a lot of different situationships going on right now, confusing ships basically situations that are confusing. And so I'm definitely seeing if you have an urgency or a desire to speed things up in your love life, spirit is saying to slow down. So let's see what this is all about, what you can expect for the year of 2024 for Capricorn. So your overall energy is slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. So something is taking place in your love life currently that is unfolding for your benefit. We have the 10 of pentacles. All right. There is a specific frequency that you are attracting into your life. A lot more stable, a lot more giving, a lot more uh, balanced equilibrium in your connections, right? Not just you giving. And this isn't just in love. I'm picking up a lot of finances, financial security, um, you providing a lot of financial stability for others or maybe giving a lot of yourself. I believe that spirit is saying to slow down and to be open to a new progressive relationship, something that you have yet to experience. There's a lot more reciprocation that I feel you're going to be getting prepared to receive in the, in the year of 2024, um, not having to be the one to lead in investments. And in this sense, it's your connections, 
it's your friendships, it's, it's your relationships, it's the people that you're putting time into. So with the 10 of Pentacles, you're getting prepared. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not, take it how it resonates for something that is stable, like a legacy is what I'm hearing, something with longevity. And it's not about security in your relationship. Like that's not what I'm picking up. It's like, yes, you'll be secure with one another. You'll be, you'll feel secure in this relationship, but this more is about you having a long term generational vision. There's something way bigger that is connected to your love life and your relationships in, in this sense, yeah, your connections, your friendships, this is all aligned with a very powerful passion, passionate vision and purpose you have within. It's way more than a romantic connection that you are seeking and desiring, all right? So out of all of these cards, I have the most fire coming from Capricorn energy. So your passions, your projects, whoever becomes your muse, you may have a lot of muses this year. All right, people who inspire you to create um, something. And all of this is centered around prosperity. There's a lot of prosperity coming into your relationship. This is what I'm picking up is 2024 preparing you for what you're desiring. All right, look at this. You got the 10 of cups. I'm barely seeing this. You got the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups. Now I'm going to have to use another deck for the other 11 zodiac signs because these are my two most committed relationships. So yeah, I feel very strongly you are attracting a very, the one, all right? The one where there's longevity and investment in building. And I'm even hearing for some of you giving land to your children or your family or a community that's centered around you. This is... It's almost like you're hitting the jackpot. 10, 10, right, right here. 10, 10 is significant as well. I also just set a timer for 10 minutes, which is crazy. So I guess I'll go to 10, 10. That's confirmation. A lot of love is getting ready if it has not yet to surface into your life. You are manifesting a relationship that brings you the most fulfillment you've ever received ever romantically and also in your business. It just aligns with success. So it's success in your relationship. And it's also, yes, I just see you like having something to pass down in your family. And it's coming through this connection that you are manifesting in 2024. So it says, slow down. Let's see what other two cards are here. Yeah. Knight of wands. All right. Whether it's upright or, or reverse, let's just get clarification on why it's suspect in the first place. Okay. Page of wands. All right. So once again, as I was mentioning, there's a lot of fire here. So fire signs could be significant in this next pivotal point in your life or a fire sign could be significant. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius and sparking something. What I have here is passions, desires. All right. Things that you really, really, really are going to be achieving. And whoever this person is in your love life aligns with it, which is why you're aligning with it before you attract it if you have yet to attract it. Okay. We have the 10 of air. So you're coming out of having to worry in your relationships for your relationships to be more easy and more natural flowing two other cards just to confirm all right we have the 10 of air all right we have the 10 of air and we have the 10 of fire so you're coming out of a, a, a long cycle. I know we've been hearing that as a Capricorn, you're coming out of a very long cycle here with the universe. This is a completely new book. Like I've been saying, it's not a new chapter. It's a new book that you're coming into something more passionate that sparks you, that sparks the creativeness in you that, that creates something for you to, to connect with love. Okay. So Capricorn, you are, a lot of people say that we don't show our emotions because I'm a Capricorn son as well. But the truth is, is that it really takes something to ignite this within you. And I believe that's what you're attracting. This is not just any relationship. This is a very specific relationship. So you have a lot of long term suffering in your relationships coming to an end because you're choosing yourself. That's what we have here. You're choosing yourself with the emperor. So you're radiating emperor energy, boss energy, success energy. So that means that whoever your partner is or whoever you're attracting, I'm getting for you, you have business partners coming in. You have community tribe in 2024, year 2024 coming in. And you also have a partner 
that you're meeting in 2024 or you will know about in 2024 who this person is. This person wants to build a family, wants to once again have a legacy, have longevity, um, being a part of the business, being a part of the vision. It's very, it's a very, very specific vision that you have for your future and this person shares the same thing so we also have aries energy on the board and we also have the universe so you could be traveling a lot you could meet this person when you're traveling or you could meet these people when you're traveling let's get the other overall energy for 2024 capricorn why do we have two tens here what's going on we have 10 10 look at this 10 10 again the only difference is we have 10 of pinnacles twice or we have 10 of air and 10 of 10 of earth Ten of fire and ten of air is what this is here. So we have ask. So spirit is saying, what do you desire in your relationship? Now, and this, whoever this person is, they're meant to mirror you, the exciting version of you, the fun version of you, the optimistic version of you. With the page of wands, this is a youthful, innocent, childlike love. It's easy. It's natural. It, it's not hard. It's very flowing. It brings out a very youthful side of you. It brings out a lot of emotions, which is something that's very new to you. So spirit is saying to ask for what it is that you desire. And as we see in the cards, you're already going to get what that is. Spirit already knows what that, what you desire. Now it is for time for you to awaken to what it is that you desire. All right, let's see what else is here for their advice for 2024. All right, we have rhythm. So once again, if you're inspired, if you're inspired, no longer waiting for people who are not aligned with your 10 of pentacles no longer waiting understand that if they're not aligned with this 10 of pentacles a long-term investment this is not just marriage some of you it may be marriage for others of you it's just being with a version of you for a long period of time in another person so it's it's deeper than marriage it's deeper than longevity this feeling that i'm getting that you're desiring fulfillment forever and it doesn't matter who it's with is what i'm picking up it doesn't matter who it's with this is just something that you desire so once again a lot of kissing a lot of crushing a lot of experiences to prepare you to receive for whoever this person is some of you could be artists some of you could be inspired with the rhythms the ground in this earth to create to write about this love story that you're desiring to experience. Write a book about it, write a song about it, write a movie about it, write about it, create it, bring it to life. Bring your love story to life. It's connected to your passions, it's connected to your sacral chakra, what you're inspired to talk about, all right? So I have a very deep, fulfilling soulmate connection that I'm picking up here for the year of 2024, and that's in your businesses, in your community, and also in this relationship. Let's get the last message for the energy of what Capricorn can expect. My goodness, there's so many people, Capricorn, you're going to have to really choose yourself this year. It is your time and you are aligning with ultimate fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, financial. You're meant to experience it all with another person. Being financially free together, being emotionally fulfilled, being wildly passionate about each other and life, being intellectually stimulating. You're meant to experience all of it and you will not settle for anything less than that. And if it is something that does not measure to that, it's just simply a small experience leading up to this. And I feel you already know this. What's the overall energy for Capricorn as we close for 2024? Rest and rejuvenation. So spirit wants you to rest when it comes to your love life and trying to find the right people that match your energy. You're very rare and you're going to see how rare you are. There's a reason why you're the GOAT. There's a reason why you're the GOAT. You're, you also are motivated to get more by sharing more. So if you know you have a partner, if you know you have family around, it's a natural inspiring steroid that inspires you to want more for yourself, but you have to want this without anyone. You have to want this for you and then inviting others in. So you've been learning a lot and spirit are saying, now is the time to rest and rejuvenate, to allow this person to come in. Just trust and know connecting with this person in your 5D, in your imaginative rim, through your creations, through whatever you're creating, and allow that to come forth. All right, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Light Tribe. I'm gonna move on to Aquarius.
Aquarius, let's see what is here for you. All right, let's see what's here for you, Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect for the year? Okay, Aquarius, I'm picking up some inner conflict here that you could be experiencing or have been experiencing here. All right, I definitely feel like you're really longing or desiring to share your life experiences with another person here. So I feel like there's some self-conflict maybe that you're getting rid of in the year of 2024. Yeah, with the seven of wands, it's not, you're learning love is not meant to be difficult. Love is not meant to be a fight. Remember, if you love your dog, if you love this specific food, is it a fight to love it? It's not a fight to love. And this is something you're learning in 2024. Okay, the five of cups, yep, I'm seeing it again. We have the five of air and the five of cups. So I'm getting a lot of feelings that you have within releasing them. All right, so you can actually receive what it is that you're desiring. And what is it that you're actually getting ready to receive in love? And what is the overall theme for Aquarius in 2024? They're giving me a different reading for you guys. Love who you are. You're looking for you. This person you're searching for and others, like, why can't people just love like this or be compassionate or think about this or be considerate to do this? That's you. You're actually seeking to find you in another person. But what version of you? All right. What version of you? It says you are divine. You are delightful and deserving of all of the wonderful things life has to offer. You're deserving of this love that is trying to come in, and that's what 2024 is preparing you for. Aquarius, you are deserving of this love, and it does not have to be a fight. You do not have to fight for love. I just keep hearing that for you. 2024 with the seven of wands. All right, we have the two of cups in reverse, really longing and desiring to have a connection with another soul. The chariot in reverse. We have cancer energy in reverse, wanting to move forward. I feel like you may have experienced an emotional awakening through a situation ship within the last two years. It, it doesn't have to be, but I'm definitely feeling like there, are, there were certain relationships you really wanted to move forward, but just could not see it. These people that you have been attracting, they are not matching your energy. You have a very big heart. You have a lot to give is what I'm feeling. Like you have a lot to give and you're ready to give it. And I'm, I'm really feeling like giving that to yourself. And we hear this all the time, self-love, self-love literally give that love to yourself. Yourself is longing for this love and you have it to give. It is way deeper than intellect. Love is not an intellectual thing. It is not a method or a strategy that you can use to obtain this feeling. This is a very special, specific feeling from the universe, all right? And you're desiring to feel it. So what's the reason for the two of cups to be in reverse, we're actually gonna change de decks just to be sure, all right? Because I'm definitely feeling like you're really desiring to be close to somebody. It could be, a fr it could be friends, it's just people. You're desiring to connect. And 2024 is preparing you to be open to connect. Let's see what's blocking that, okay? This is a totally different reading, Aquarius. What's blocking this from coming in? All right, community. So you have community, but we have hostilities at the bottom. That's what I was saying. We have hostilities. Where are these hostilities coming from? Five of cups, where are these hostilities coming from? We have the moon. It's interesting because on your card, you have the moon in the background. So there's a lot of unresolved feelings that have been unintended to actually for, for some time now. And there have been certain people, situations to kind of pull this out of you. It's almost like spirit is using your circumstances to show you the love that you have within yourself. And you are attracting community. You are attracting connection. And this is actually what you're desiring and longing for. We have a lot of water signs in the reverse. So we have cancer and we also have Pisces. So I definitely feel like you have a connection to a water sign or water signs. And that's because you're desiring more of a balanced emotional fulfillment feeling. You're desiring to feel these feelings and you don't have to have another person to feel these feelings, okay? Let's see what else is here for 2024. And their overall theme was spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So you're learning relationships outside of traditions, outside of strategy. 
in 2024, what you can expect to happen is for you to be in a space to let go, to make space for for what's actually coming and what you actually desire, which is what is coming in love for Aquarius. The garden and the gate walking away. So walking away from what is not working out or what is on a delay. If it's on a delay, anything that's in a delay, your relationship in 2024, I see you walking away from that. You are walking towards the garden and the gate, which is your personal fulfillment and happiness. Once you feel this within, then you will be able to connect and understand how such a powerful connection can exist. Meaning you're giving all of this love to yourself and once again, it, it, it's a different type of self-love that I'm picking up. This is not a shallow self-love. Really get to know yourself, why yourself is sad. There's regret that I'm picking up with the, with the conflict, the regret, things that didn't work out. You know, love yourself, forgive yourself for some of these things. This is what I'm hearing for 2024. And why is this important? Because you're going to want to know what the hell is going on. You're going through a clearing out, a clearing away, making space for more love to enter into your life. And it's coming first through your community, through your friendships. But you must understand that a spiritual connection is really what you're longing for. It's like you've been, again, Aquarius is very intellectual, very brilliant, but you're desiring to feel something deeper. And that's actually what you're preparing for. Okay, so we have failure. We have domination. So we have a lot of conflicting energies here. The hangman, but spirit is saying to change your perspective. 2024 is to change your perspective. Whatever happens is destined to happen, to align to adjustments happening in your life. You're going through a very large adjustment. I, I, I'm also picking up Virgo energy here too, the hermit energy. So going within, doing some introspection. Now, once again, we're always like, oh, we have to be patient with the universe. It's not the universe, it's us, ourself, to be ready to receive what it is we're asking for. And what it is that you're asking for is fulfillment, but also for yourself to be happy and fulfilled. All right? So is there anything, any advice for Aquarius is for 2024? Direction, yeah, you're being guided, but there's a lot you still don't know about yourself. You're getting to know yourself on a deeper level so you can even give yourself to another person. It's like, let me get to know myself before I give and share this version of myself with another. So it's like you're going through this transformation and you also want someone to be there. But I'm definitely sensing that maybe you're just focused on one cup of romance and not understanding that love can come through various ways. So I feel you're going to be very surprised by connections in 2024 that pop up in your life. Even pets could be brought into your life because the universe is trying to deliver love somewhere. And you're if you're only focused on one place of intimacy and romance, then you're missing you're missing the depth of the connection you truly desire. So 2024 comes to realign you, to receive more harmony in your life. So there's a lot of secrets, a lot of subconscious things that you're learning about yourself that you truly desire. All right. So you're being guided and navigated. Let's see what the ultimate love is that you're actually coming into. Thank you. Adjustments. Once again, an adjacent possibility. So spirit is saying there's all possibilities. And whoever this person is, is very financially stable, desires to give, very, very giving, very generous, very independent. All right. This is not someone who is not ready. They are very ready. So spirit is saying, be open to all doors in which this can arrive, which is what I was saying. If you're just focused on one then you're expecting love to come specifically through this. There's too much control, too much analyzation of allowing love in to come in. So 2024, you're focused on your business, you doing what you have to do and feeling good about you, feeling ready, feeling stable, feeling good, feeling that fulfillment so that you can attract it within another person. So that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. If you guys not have subscribed, definitely check it down below to become a part of the tribe. If you guys not have subscribed, in the meantime, Aquarius, be open to love that is not coming through a logical place. All right, moving on to Pisces. All right, next up is Pisces. Let's see what you can expect for the year 2024. 
All right, Pisces, you have a really big heart on your card. I see the Six of Swords at the very bottom here. So following your heart already, Six of Swords, getting out of your head, Six of Swords, once again, would be movement away from the way you used to think about love, all right? The way you used to, to construct love. Let's look at what Pisces can expect for 2024 in love. Pisces, Four of Cups, all right? So we have the Four of Cups out on the board. We have the Ten of Wands, Pisces 2024. All right, I'm also picking up Aquarius vibes. So you could be heavily connected to an Aquarius or could have Aquarius in your chart because I'm feeling the message again come up that you, first of all, yours is a bit different. Yours is a bit different when it comes to feeling worthy of love, of receiving love without having to do so much or work so hard, okay? Realize that what you love, you don't have to work hard to do. If you really love pizza, it's not hard. If you really love something, it's not hard, right? And so I'm just sensing here with the four of cups, the four of cups would be like rating a dinner a four out of 10. It's unsatisfied, it's unfulfilled, it's not even halfway feeling full. And I feel like this could be your heart. And that is because maybe there are, I'm picking up with the 10 of wands, some things to walk away from in 2024. 10 of wands is overburdened. Could be walking away from obligations from others, what others are saying, what others expect from you. You should not have to do so much to receive so little and if any at all is what I'm getting, all right? Because we have the four of cups here. Now, meanwhile, you're focused on what doesn't seem to be working out. You have a cup right behind you which means that there is options in love in 2024, but will you see them? Will you see them if you're focused so much on what's not working or what might not work or what could be disappointed pointing to you? So I see that you're walking away from relationships in general that are burdening, okay? If they're burdening, you're walking away from them. You're come, You're closing out a very tough cycle in the Ten of Wands. Let's see what this cycle is about for Pisces. Okay. So yeah, King of Wands. This could be a weight. This could be a specific person in your life, a masculine. All right. We have King of Wands, which is fire energy. So it could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius with the Ten of Wands. What, whoever this is, this masculine energy, this this energy around you, I just see it could it could be a father figure, it could be a mentor, it could be someone at work. Whoever this is, the Ten of Wands is here. So it's reached its like capacity of energy. And I just see that there's gonna be something here. Now I'm also reading that there's something you could really desire to do or go towards, and you just have been putting it off for so long. It could be a person as well with the King of Wands. And now you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna go for it because the king of wands is there. There's a lot of passion behind whatever this is. So let's see, what is the overall energy and love for Pisces in 2024, okay? Because I, I got that this love that you're desiring, it's a fantasy, okay? And it's crazy because I picked up Janae Aiko, which is very interesting, so you're connected to music. And in the song I picked up and channeled for you specifically, Pisces, was While We Are Young. And so this is a very like escape song, a very like let's just go, and be in love and exist. And whatever this is, whatever you're channeling in your little spidey senses of fantasy world, because you're so gifted in it that it's so natural, you don't realize people can't even fantasize or dream. There are people who actually can't, but you do it so frequently and fluently, you don't realize it's a gift. And so that's something too, is realizing and trusting that that is actually what you're here in this lifetime to experience. Look at this at the bottom, new love, okay? A new love for yourself, a new love for life. It says, embrace an opportunity for love in your work. So that's something I was feeling too. So it's like, you've been focusing so much on maybe things that didn't work out, even if it, it's businesses, relationships, situations with the three of cups here that you're missing an opportunity, an ace of cups, a new beginning and something that will bring you fulfillment. And this is in your relationship. This is in your career I'm even picking up. For you, 
All right. And so it's like something that you're like, I've been putting off. I'm very passionate about it. So something is actually going to inspire you a lot in 2024 and bring in new love. This is actually what brings in new love. So there's a lot of spiritual growth around new love. The, the nine of pinnacles is here as well. So this has been taking a while for you. We have be authentic, be real and be true to who you are and how you feel. So this is what it's about going towards what you love. No longer putting it off in 2024, all right? So it's like the world is yours, but there's a lot of love. If, if you look on your card at the very beginning of the thumbnail, there's a very big purple heart. So this love is also coming from revelations, like, oh, wow, I'm realizing. So you're having revelations and realizations that actually awaken you to more love in your life, okay? So let's just see, why is the king of wands here? What is this? confirmation for Pisces interference all right so we have some type of communication or something moving in very quickly ace of cups so this is a new relationship opportunity with the ace of cups behind you you may not see it let's see cruelty nine yeah you're not focused on it but if you were to take a step back and be aware I do see that you will have a specific opportunity that comes in in love with the ace of cups here it's like, it's not hard for you to fall in love. I feel like every year you probably get the same reading. Like if you want to be in love, the option's yours. Okay. Because you have love all around you in your heart. It's who you are. When you're being authentic to who you are and being real to who you are, it's filled with love. And you're desiring to just express that without judgment. But first this begins with yourself. So I, what I'm seeing is there's a person and a, a passionate path Okay, and let's just see, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Is this in your career? What is this in? Defeat in the way that you think and being optimistic. So this is a lot of self-sabotage that I'm picking up and, and what you have to release. It's almost like trying to run, but your shoes are tied and you're tying your shoes together. It's self, a little bit of self-sabotage and you will, I'm seeing go through a spiritual journey, I, I was about to go there now. I was about to go in there right now, but it's like, we do not have time for that. Spend some time to go into the depths of your soul, Pisces, and uncover what it is that you desire that will bring you fulfillment. And I don't care how much of a romanticized fantasy it seems to be, it is what you're here to live and experience. And that is the truth. And you have to trust what you're being shown. It's not too big. It's not too much of a fairy tale. It's realistic. And you, I'm hearing, are the example of true love and that it exists and that romance, romances come to life. But if you don't believe them because it seems too far-fetched, because we have the nine of, of air here and the five of air just being in your head about all of this, then it's like you're missing it, okay? So 2024 is preparing you. You have new love in 2024 already at your door right now, okay? Right now, ace of, ace of water, ace of cups, okay? Ace of cups, look that up if you want a deeper meaning since you love to go deeper, okay? Abundance, overflowing with love, overflowing and drowning <laughs> in love, overflow your heart bursting what do you do with all of this love i'm hearing write about it sing about it talk about it draw about it create this life that you have this life that you have this life that you have in the 5d bring it to the 3d okay let's see what the guidance is for pisces in 2024 time's up that's a message hey siri i see a very important alliance coming in okay um that's aligning with something that you're inspired to do passionate about doing love to do there's pleasure here there's joy here and spirit saying time's up there's nothing more to contemplate on go towards what you desire go towards what you love this is what you're meant to do and meant to experience so pisces don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I'm going to move on to Aries. See you. Aries, it looks like you have someone pretty deep in your energy here. 
All right. Whoever this is, they do not want you to walk away. All right. That's something that I was channeling. They do not want you to walk away. Aries. Let's see Aries energy for 2024 in love, specifically relationships, love, a new perspective. A newfound perspective is coming in for the year of 2024. For you, we have the nine of wands. Okay, some things have been pretty exhausting here. We have a couple of things taking place in your life for 2024. It seems like some type of strong commitment is coming in with the Knight of cups. You have a commitment that you're either in or around for 2024. Take it how it resonates towards you. And I see that there's some confusion here on whether or not to move away from it or move towards it, whether or not you met this person. I'm definitely seeing six of swords at the bottom. Yeah. So I'm getting that whoever this is, or maybe it's you too, doesn't want the other one to walk away. It could be friends, family, romance. And I definitely see that there are a couple new beginnings that are coming into your life. I believe you're going to have a new perspective on what it is that you actually desire. You could also be connecting with the Scorpio. That could be very important. I don't know why I'm getting that. You can be connecting with the Sagittarius also. All right. So let's see what your overall theme is for 2024 in love for Aries. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So I definitely feel like you're going to have to have the strength to choose yourself in a very conflicting situation around you in your love life. Now this love, let's just get some more information here. Eight of swords. Yeah. So there's a lot of freedom that you're desiring, desiring to be free, desiring to be wild and free, but to express that and be in a relationship that mirrors that. So I definitely feel like you're contemplating and having a new revelation on what it is you desire in your relationships. What do you even want? This conclusion and revelation actually comes with the result of letting go of people around you that maybe you've been going back and forth on. Making room, right? So moving towards, and I don't see that you're gonna spend much time here. Let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Okay. There's something that you're also wanting to move towards. So what is this Knight of Cups here? Joy. Yeah. There's something here that you're moving towards in 2024 that brings you a lot of joy. And it comes from walking away from someone or something that no longer is bringing you joy. It's exhausting. Knight of Wands. If it's confusing, if it's exhausting. Remember, if you love something, if you love, I have to keep using a very simple con context here. If you love pizza, would it be confusing? Like, uh, I'm not sure if I love this or I don't, I'm not sure if it loves, like, no. Okay. So I feel like even right now that's a distraction. So this is the first distraction we're getting. I'm just sensing there's people around you who are not aligned with your energy. There's a specific energy I'm mirroring that either, whether you're in a relationship, the person is evolving towards, or if you're single, you're attracting a specific person where you and whoever this person, these people are from the past, they're very loud. They want to get your attention. And so you're going to have to really stand your ground and find your inner strength is what I'm getting to choose you and to really connect with what you desire, especially in a relationship. So this person you're manifesting that I keep getting distracted. And I feel like it's the same for you to focus on what you desire, even if it's a specific connection, is to live wild and free, but to be connected with somebody, all right? So you could be a poet, a lyricist, um, your passions could be getting sparked up because I definitely see in the near future, the sun is bright. So when I'm looking on your card, on this image, I'm getting that when you look ahead, it's very bright. So we have joy, nine of cups. So there is something better. And you're feeling that in 2024, whether you're single or not, take it, leave it up to you. This is the confusion here. Two of swords. I'm confused about a commitment. Now let's get why this ace of pentacles is here. What does this resemble? All right. Mother of fire. So this is a person. This could be an Aries, a Sag or a Leo. It doesn't have to be 
Um, this can also be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio because we have a mother. But this is going to be fire. And this is going to be someone around you that you are have been going back and forth on that you're moving away from. Your love is in the future, almost like in, in a hope, in a wish that there's something more. And I believe you're correct here with the Nine of Cups and Joy. And you have to have your inner strength to stand on that Eight of Swords releasing Eight of Swords is mentally feeling enslaved, trapped, stuck. And spirit is saying, no, look ahead. Look towards your passions and what you're knighted by in, in a relationship. And connect with your imagination. Your inspirations are more of gifts. Less action, more imagining imagining more, connecting more in the fantasy world will bring you this person you know exists out there, but you have not met them. Or maybe some of you have already met them. It's 2024. So that's something you have a deeper knowing, like I know there's something or know there's someone and you have to trust that. And let's see, what is that leading you to Aries? Cause I, once again, I channel don't walk away. So what is this leading you towards, this nine of cups and this joy? Patience. Look at this at the bottom, the sun. Okay, like I said, literally looking ahead, joy. It's very bright. So don't be impatient, Aries. That's your biggest thing. You have so much energy and perseverance to go, go, go. But you have to be patient with yourself. Okay, because you're learning. And what is it that you're learning, Aries 2024, when it comes to love? You're manifesting this a right person, door to spirit, to connect more with the spiritual world. Spiritual, unseen. You can't see love. Unseen world. Peace, unseen. Bliss, unseen. These are unseen. Joy, unseen. So in order to connect, you have to go outside of the practical, actionable world. And this is what you're learning here, is by freeing yourself. And look at this at the bottom. Angel of love. It's guaranteed. Let it come to you. You don't have to do anything. It's like you're so used to working hard for things that you think you have to work hard for this. Do you have to work hard for your favorite pizza? And some of you might be like, oh, well, maybe. It's like, do you have to work hard if you love it? Oh, I have to work hard. I love this so much. That doesn't even go. Oh, my ear is ringing. You don't have to work hard for love. You don't have to work hard for anything, but especially anything spiritual, especially it's spiritual. It's here right now. And that's where the patience has to come in with yourself. So spirit is saying, do not make any moves. The, the fool in reverse will take it. Do not make any crazy moves or jump into anything hasty in 2024. Give yourself time. Look at this. You have a new beginning. Just be patient for the right one to come. Otherwise, it'll be another loop you'll have to get out of. Because you're attracting, we're all attracting versions of ourselves in others. Which version of you would you like to date? Which version of you would you like to date, Aries? Exactly. So be patient for the version of you that's emerging. You got lyrics and poets like, what's going on here? Something is awakening within you. Write about it. Talk about it. Paint about it. Create this love story. This is what's going to help you actually bring it and manifest it into life. So you have a promising new beginning when you move towards the future of what you know but cannot see. Takes a lot of trust and it, it requires a lot of trust and certainty. Definitely could be an artist or a poet because the lyrics are just flowing. Okay, so definitely connect with this creativeness. Because you have the sacral chakra, and now you have the solar plexus chakra, which is about confidence, self-esteem, know who you are. Which version of you would you like to date? There's a version of you you're still getting to know. So how will you recognize it in another person? You have to recognize it within you first. And even if you don't, it's possible to recognize it within another, but you've got to be awake. And I see you've been working so tirelessly hard that you don't even have the energy to look up. Now is the time to rest. I'm picking up a lot of Capricorn energy too, so you could be connected. Okay, guidance for Aries. I love it. 
Listen, Aries. Listen, Spirit is saying, listen, pay attention. Dialogue, communication is coming to you from the spiritual world. You don't have to do as much work. You'll tire yourself out is what I'm hearing. All right, so like attracts like. Be who you desire to be and be who you desire to date. All right? Since you want to know why you got to be patient. And the third, sh third chakra, once again, is confidence, knowing who you are, knowing what you're connected to. There's more for you to know. So you can actually manifest what you truly desire and not what you think you want. There's a difference. Subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I'm moving on to the next one or I'll be here all day. All right, moving on to Taurus. I'm out. Woo, shoot. Okay. Taurus, oh my goodness. What's going on with you, Taurus? All right. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like something is happening in 2024. It feels like you're like drunk in love, is what I'm getting. Like there's something that's really stealing your attention here. So let's see what this is about. All right, Taurus, I have the three of cups at the bottom. So I have really, really good energy picking up for you for 2024 in love. Let's see what you can expect already. This card is flying out, nine of cups. I feel like you have a wish come true coming in. Someone very special, someone that really, really brings a very deep, sensual connection to you is what I'm getting. There's a lot of romance here. There's a lot of dining. There's a lot of high-end dating. Um, so this feels like it is a fantasy. It also feels like you are attracting this in a person. Yeah, King of Cups. And I'm feeling like you're in love. 2024, you're in love is what I'm getting. King of Cups, Knight of Cups, 2024, what can Taurus expect? It's coming in very quickly. You could not see it. it, could come out of nowhere because once again, this person is on a broom and they're coming out of nowhere. The hermit, we have Virgo energy here. So they could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or another Taurus that you're attracting here. Whoever this is, they're coming in very quickly after a very deep point in your life of introspection of what it is that you actually desire, okay? There's a lot of deep, introspection going on here and I feel like you're meant to be with someone who is also connected with family family is very important so family this person whoever you're attracting 2024 whether you meet them you're attracting them okay so this is a person a wish come true hit the jackpot uh this person inspires you to be even greater than you are I mean it, it is a pretty deep connection that I'm picking up here that you're going to be channeling in 2024 so let's get Taurus overall energy choose love so spirit is saying choose love and focus on love so that's what is all about 2024 is to attract love now this doesn't have to just be your relationships this is your friends this is the people around you you always have a choice make yours with love what's the other choice you might ask fear I'm doing this because I'm afraid if I don't, this may happen. So that is a lot of realigning that is coming into your life as well. So I see very strongly with you connecting with family, with people around you and being very, I feel like this is your time to be in love. Okay, this may also be with life, but we have two people here. So let's get some more clarity on what this love is coming in and where it's coming from for Taurus. Okay, 10 of cups. All right, so this is the same, I believe now the second one, the first one was Capricorn energy, so you could definitely be kept connected to a Capricorn. So we have repletion. So this is a fulfilling partner. This is a wish come true. This is better than you could have ever anticipated. It came out of the blue. All right, so there's a lot of inspiration behind it. It's gonna make you wanna sing, it's gonna make you wanna write, it's gonna make you wanna express, it's gonna make you wanna jump and shout. There's just so much like little kid energy of you running around being in love. All right, so you're running around, you're being in love, it's childlike energy, it's so cute, okay? I'm definitely feeling like you're in love, once again, the tower, this comes out of nowhere, it's completely, you did not see it coming, you will not see it coming. Actually, Spirit's saying it's better that way, especially since you're an earth sign and you're very practical, okay? So it's, if, if that were the case, it'll never come. 
So you are manifesting a family. This is not just about a partner. You're bringing people together. This is a love. This is fulfilling. This is celebration. This is easy. This is an example of true love. You are going to be an example of true love. Ace of Fire, it's passionate. It's a new chapter, a new book, and it's coming in very quickly. And both of you are, are useful in each other's life. So you are also becoming someone who is very in love with life and having a lot to offer. You have spent a lot of time focusing on pouring into your cup, which is why you even have anything to offer with repletion. You've replenished yourself. You've, and that's what Spirit is saying, 2024, continue to replenish yourself because you're preparing for a very deep and sensual connection. We have Scorpio here, so that person could also have Scorpio in their chart. It's a very deep emotional connection sensual, passionate connection. It's meant to inspire you. And I'm just seeing even on your image here, it comes from the dark. It's like dawn. It comes at dawn. It comes at dawn till dusk. Like it's okay, Taurus. Something also that I'm picking up is that spirit is saying it's important for you to understand how to receive what you desire, not just through strategy and solution, because once again, earth signs, we love, we always will have a solution no matter what, like always. I remember getting locked out of my Airbnb one time and I was an hour away from my tattoo appointment and my phone was locked into the house and I'm like, I know I'm going to get in. I don't know how, and somehow I left the back door open with the music playing because I took the trash out. And... Long behold, I found a couple, one who had a crane, who lifted me up to the balcony. And it's like, I didn't really have much time to grieve or really connect with my emotions and how I felt because I just always found a solution. And so I really feel like since you're so great at finding those, Spirit is saying to now be open to high priestess to your intuition. Okay, because this is a tool that that you're activating that is only going to help you in your practical life as well, in your career as well. Work less, create more. So less work, making room for happiness, making room for ease and relaxation. Can you enjoy a love and a partner without worrying about work or what else you have going on? So I definitely see what the high priestess spirit saying. If you want to connect with this person at any moment, you can. This person that you're connecting or attracting can also be into tarot, also be into to astrology, also be a reader, also be a healer. Um, it's going to spark something very, very deep within you that maybe you didn't see or realize coming. And I see this for 2024. Let's see what the overall energy is for Taurus in 2024. What can they expect? Angel of balance. So yeah, balance. And I'm just seeing the practical and the spiritual world, understanding that what you desire, everything that we desire is actually spiritual, unseen, but we experience it through physical and tangible things. And sometimes we get it confused thinking we want the tangible things, but it's really the feeling that it gives us. And so connecting more with your spiritual sense and your spiritual side so you can obtain your desires. So you don't have to work as hard because you're already successful. And I see success here. However, now there's a different feeling of success of where there's nothing that you need to do anymore and that everything is taken care of. This is a level of bliss. Yeah, we have victory and deceit. Let's see why deceit is here. Why is deceit here? Caring connections, a man holding a heart. So there'll be a lot of people who may come and appear to be this person, but you will know one for twin flame. This is a very significant connection in your life. Only this person could make you feel this way. So there will be people who say they may be your person or they may be your soulmate. And that's why it's also important for you to connect with your spiritual sense. So you know the truth, because a lot of people may have traits similar to this twin, to this 
person that's very you're very deeply connected to even in the astrals spiritually you're very connected to this person and it's it's an it's inevitable for you to learn how to choose the right people to be around you and without the sense of spirituality and your sensations outside of the practical of logic and analyzing and strategy there's different senses that you will connect with that are helping you attract and even recognize your life partner. How would you even know? How would you even recognize? Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge just as truth is what spirit's saying. So love doesn't have to just come through one door. If we're waiting for it to come through one door, time's up. You don't have to wait any longer. So spirit is saying to have faith. There's nothing to, that you have to wait for, but it's very important that you have the right eyes to recognize who this person is. One, four, 11, 11, four, four, four. So this is a higher level connection and you will know because they will inspire you to be the most authentic, greatest version you can imagine for yourself. That would be a deep connection that you are. And that's what I'm saying. This is not just any other connection. So allow it to come in. Now, will there be others that say absolutely with the deceit? And so what is your advice for 2024 in love, Taurus? Thank you. Letting go in beauty. So you are very alluring. You are standing out. It is your time. You're glowing. You've put enough work into yourself. You've replenished yourself. You're once again, it's showing. And so a lot of people too, too, are going to approach themselves. You're going to have options. It's not about that. You should have options, right? Who wouldn't want to be with you? That is the truth. Who wouldn't? <laughs> like, I don't know where this is coming from, but it's like, who wouldn't? So, so when you understand that the option is yours and that means you don't have to chase it. It'll come to your door. So we have radiance, yes, self-esteem and strength. That's how you're feeling and that's what's attracting this person into your life, this version of you. So we're all dating versions of ourselves within others, but which version? Which version? And some of us are evolving and the people we're with are not evolving. So you have a choice to stay where you are in your journey of evolution with this person, hoping that they catch up, or move forward and fly with someone who can also keep up on that frequency because whoever you are watching this, you are climbing at very rapid rates in the spiritual world and you may not be aware of that. And so to keep up with you, this person would have to be just as special as you mirroring and reflecting this energy. So I am going to be moving on. If you guys have not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe to become a part of the tribe. Check out thetarotchest.com if you guys are looking for more deep, intimate readings that are not available on YouTube. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to Gemini. Gemini, what's good? Let's see what your overall theme is for 2024. I'm hearing, don't worry, the universe has not forgotten about you. Everything is in divine timing. It's not an intellectual thing. It's not an intellectual obtainment. Okay, I seen one, two, three, four on the clock when I was recording this as I got started. So theme. Okay, we have two. Honesty is essential. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey a great appreciation. Speak with love and truth. So 2024, Gemini, is awakening you to more of your emotional self, more of your emotional side, and I definitely see that you're going to be speaking your truth with someone around you or someone's going to be speaking their truth. Um, they have a mask. So I definitely feel like maybe you have been protecting yourself for some time when it comes to love. I feel like 2024 is teaching every Zodiac sign something differently. And what you're learning is that it's safe to love, that what you love, you don't have to protect yourself from. You don't have to protect yourself from love, right? It's like saying, I love this pizza so much. I have to protect myself from it. I love it so much. I have to, I have to, what are you protecting yourself from? The worst case scenario. So you're already living in the future, predicting it. And so there's a lot of mind power that you do have that is helping a lot of your manifestations come forth. What it's really been doing is reconstructing and
This has made your love connections and love a little bit more complex than it needed needs to be because of a lot of the programming that has been gravitated towards. Okay. So what's happening is 2024 is that spirits like I want to deliver love in every aspect into your life here, but you have to be honest with yourself about what it is you desire. And once you get down, cause that's what I just did. I went down so many different layers in your energy field and I pulled out one splinter and it's like, it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to express love. You don't have to protect yourself from love. Whereas some of our Zodiac signs are feeling like they have to fight for love. Yours, what I'm picking up is you're learning. You don't have to protect yourself from something you desire so deeply. Once you're honest with yourself, you can say that. And so there's a little bit of fear of like admitting that, oh my gosh, this is so once again, it's not an analyzing thing. Love is unseen. Therefore it cannot be obtained through logic. And so there's a lot that you're learning about love, how to express it, how to share it. So it's like spirits, like before I send you all of the love that you truly desire, which could be a Scorpio or Sagittarius, because I'm picking up a lot of, there is love coming in and, and it's, it's more love than you're used to, which is why spirits like you must get comfortable now. Otherwise, if I send the right, ex your exact person that you're desiring to be with in this moment, you may push them away because you don't feel safe to love. You feel like you have to protect yourself from love. So if I send you love, what will you do? Protect yourself from it. So if I were to put it in a logical sense, it's like, oh, wow, that makes sense. But with the emperor here, I definitely feel like you have a divine counterpart and you're picking up on that in your energy field. So let's see, we have Aries energy on the board. We also have the six of cups here. So maybe this is someone that you have not met yet. Let's get clarity. Why is the six of cups here? Page of cups, queen of swords. Okay. There could be definitely a situation that you're involved in already. Cause we do have the emperor. You got, you could have children. You could have a family. All right, there's a lot of decisions that have to be made in 2024 for those of you who I'm talking to because we have the emperor, we have a page, we have a whole family here. All right, so there's six of cups is in reverse. So whatever this is, it's not feeling like it's aligned. Okay, thank you, spirit. All right, seven of swords. Why do we have the seven of swords here? It's confusing, okay? It's confusing whether you're in a relationship or you're not in a relationship, temperance or Sagittarius. I'm getting a lot of confusing energy in six of swords. This is now the third time I'm seeing this in our reading. So I definitely seen that in two other signs. So you are moving away from what no longer is fulfilling six of cups and bringing you that, that feeling. You should feel that naturally, right? Some people just bring that safe feeling out of you. And, and it's like, you're desiring for a specific feeling to be brought out of you and, and to be awakened. And I, I feel like you want to be alive. It's like, I want to feel something in, in whether you're in a connection or not, this is what your spirit is saying. So I definitely feel with the queen of swords here, there's someone you can be dealing with that's been difficult, whether it is to let go of, whether it is to express. Um, but I'm seeing with the temperance, you're being asked to align yourself because the, the emperor, let's see whether you're with this person or not, is this person aligned for your future desired connection? Five of swords. No, high priestess, your spirit is saying that there is something more, there's something else that is coming in here. Why is a five of swords here? Let's it's it's do you see how confusing this is? I gotta pull out seven different decks. It's like spirits like let's see what their higher self is saying. So if you guys want to get this text message deck, I just added it back onto the shelf priestdex.com for this text message deck. I'm actually gonna, for those of you who are dealing with someone or in, in a relationship really quickly, let me see what their higher self wants to tell you. Three cards for the truth. Thank you. Look at that. Three cards. I knew it. Spirit's like, go get the deck. It's like, look how many decks we need just to get this energy. It should never be this hard. Love is meant to be easy. Okay. You could, it could be igniting you to want to talk more, share more, be a lyricist, be a poet. 
glow. <laughs> it could be igniting you to want to speak up more. Your throat chakra is being activated at this time to speak up. Okay. So speak lyricism, poetry, podcast, talking, communication, learning, being stimulated intellectually. All of this is coming in. Anyways, you don't care. You want to know what is this person got to say? Okay. For those of you in a connection, I'm focusing on my career at the moment. You make my heart sing. I feel you. Okay. So this is a very deep connection that you do have here. And I feel like for those of you dealing in this situation, this is meant to awaken something in you spiritually. And it already has to do what? To open yourself up. It's like spirit sending for most zodiac signs, a few people to come knock on our door, our heart chakra, before the actual one comes so that we actually open the door. And when we do open the door, we open the door and we feel ready and we don't close the door because we're like, oh my gosh, this is too good to be true. You have to get prepared and spirit is preparing you through the relationships you're choosing, which is the oldest version of you. Also, if you're interested in learning more about enlightenment because you're making me want to teach right now, out of all, out of all zodiac signs, you're the first that's making me want to like teach, like really get into it. Fly to level 11.com. Type that in and join the next session. I'll be there every month. So that's where I'll be spending most of my time mentoring you guys to use your gifts and activate that because I feel like that's what you're doing. You're becoming the emperor, which is above all kings, all queens in the sense of masculine energy, being very confident, being ahead, being a chief, being the one in charge, whether it's of your own destiny or in power. Yeah. At the very bottom of in your life, in your career. Okay. Definitely inspire me to want to teach. Let's see what the energy is for 2024 for Gemini. Okay. You just inspired me a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. Knocked on our heart. Like I said, heart chakra. So something or someone had to come in here and stir some things up for you to feel again, for you to connect again. All right. Now, if you have yet to experience this, this is what you're going to experience in 2024. Very simple. Your heart chakra opening. Okay. Flooding with love. Who, who had overflowing with love? I think that was Taurus. So Taurus could be significant. Okay. What is, what else is the energy heart chakra activation for you, Gemini? It's time. <laughs> That's so funny. When they 33 can be significant. Okay. Some things are aligning door to romance. It's happening, but are you open to it? Look at this blossoming abundance overflow of love. But are you open to this? So that's what Spirit is saying, 2024, open up to receive what you desire. But in order to know what that is, you have to be honest with what you desire and go deeper and really connect and see what is bringing, being brought to you. Once again, here I am teaching you what's being brought to you in your imagination. This is your gift. This is your activation. All right. I'm moving on. Check out the tarotchest.com. Check out flytolevel11.com. Also, if you guys want to be a part of enlightenment, activating your gifts, I'm excited to see what comes about. Gemini, I'm going to be moving on. <laughs> I'm weak as hell. All right. What's good, Cancer? So I must say, out of all zodiac signs, I mean, I, I would say you're one of the top two for sure, when it comes to being uh, top three, top three, because I can't forget about Capricorn. We're in there too. Uh, top four, top four. But you are probably number two or one. I guess I'd have to finish the reading when it comes to love. All right. So every channel message I got, yours was very loving, very gentle very kind, very flowing. You are attracting someone who understands you, someone who connects with you, someone who has compassion. You have a lot of love. And I know you've heard this before, but what I'm seeing in 2024 is that now it's being open to receiving that outside of another person. That's interesting. Cause I just grabbed this deck randomly. Okay. Let me get a text message from your life partners. Look at this. We, Here's what I'm trying to tell y'all. There's so much coming in. Okay. First of all, I channeled a song for you. Do you want to by Donnell Jones? This is a very slow, mature love. All right. It's like nostalgic, 
it's flowing and it just, it's right. It's home. And you're attracting that. And I already grabbed my deck. Look at this. I want to see you. So you're attracting somebody. I didn't even know how this deck got into my hand because I've only used it for the last reading and no other card. And I definitely haven't started with this deck. So this tells me you're already connected to a very deep soul mated connection or you're attracting one. So let's get the message from them. You are everything I've ever dreamed of. I want you. Okay. Like I said, you are in the top like three to four zodiac signs when it comes to undeniably experiencing love in 2024. It's undeniable. It's like it's given and it's it just makes sense. It's time is what I'm hearing. All right. At the bottom, we have you are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. OK, so this is about loving you, loving yourself so yourself can be ready to receive the love in someone else. OK, you could be a poet. You can also be an artist. You can be a musician. You can be a creator of some sort. All of the love that you have is so big, especially for one person. Spirit is saying in 2024, you'll be ignited to share it, whether it's in a creative passion, whether it's through your literature, through your creations, through your movements through your expression. It says, be willing to express love to receive love. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So being kind with yourself and starting small. It's like spirit, you're destined for this love is what I'm hearing. You're destined to experience this love in, in this lifetime. You're destined to be involved in a love, a deep love. But it's very important that you do not fall for temporary love, assuming it's an eternal love. There's a difference here is what I'm getting because you have the capacity to fall in love with pretty much anyone. I'm just getting a lot of fluttering heart feelings from your energy. It makes me want to just talk about love and be in love. And I see that you're like, I got things to do. I have things to pay. I've, I've got things to do. So to be in love might not feel like a priority, but when you're in love, you're inspired. It's a certain vibration it puts you in. Spirit has been teaching you just not to be dependent on receiving that from another because then you will always need them and then you will become powerless. Very deep. And you have the capacity to go there is what I'm hearing. Okay, six of swords again. I feel like every zodiac sign has got this card. I still haven't taken it out the deck yet. And it's still just popping up. Moving forward mentally away from people who are not ready. I've been saying this a lot. We're attracting versions of ourselves and others. Which version would you want to date? You've been dating the version of you that's afraid to love. You aren't. They are. It's an older version of you, which is why letting go of the past is letting go of the past you, which is everything connected to it. Then you don't have to go in and just instead of saying, okay, I'm going to let go of this, 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 and that. It's like, no, just let go of you and everything connected with it will go too. very deep when it comes to lyrics, very deep when it comes to writing, writing how you feel. You have a gift to write. Putting it into literature, not everyone has that gift. You may be overlooking your gifts. The tarotchest.com, I just dropped a supernatural ability. So if you're looking to connect with that, you can find that on the tarotchest.com. Let's see, what is it what you're moving towards? The lovers, Gemini. That's crazy because you are mirroring a little bit of Gemini's energy as well. So you could be on the cusp, you don't have to be, but simple acts of kindness and giving was something also. So it's like giving to who? You've been giving to others. So what is the universe talking about? And it's like giving to you, give it to you so you can feel it now. So you don't have to wait. Some of us are waiting to buy a home until the person comes. Spirit is saying, get prepared now, live as if you're already there and this person will arrive, right? Buy the home and then it, then it will be filled. Don't wait. And then, so there's a lot of waiting. All right. So you're moving towards the lovers, a very deep, profound divine connection that once again you're everything I've ever dreamt of so you've already connected and are connecting with this person in the 5d let's see what else are you moving towards 2024 and love three of wands waiting my waiting card 
You've been waiting a lot, but spirit is saying, get prepared, get ready. Hangman to change your perspective, to change your perspective, to receive you. Have you ever met anyone like you who gives effortlessly, who's so damn considerate that you put yourself on the back burner? But you're now attracting a version of you that doesn't have to put yourself on the back burner to care about others. Have you ever experienced that before? Temperance card here. Have you ever experienced connecting with yourself that you feel the love you've given to others? Have you ever felt that love you've been giving to others? It's time for you to feel what that feels like so you can see why everybody's running, why it feels so overwhelming. And that's because your love may be meant for a world, meaning you may have a love that's meant to write the best novel. And, and, and people are reading your words and they're inspired to experience this love Confirmation, you're talking about temperance, connecting with the version of you, the most authentic version of you. And then guess who you're attracting? That version in another. So this person is the type of person who would make something about you, create something because of you, be inspired, and you're going to be so overwhelmed to receive this love. Because, But here's the thing, to prepare, give it to you. All of that love you keep pouring on people to the point where they're drowning, give it to you so you can experience it. It's preparation for experiencing it in another. Have you ever experienced that before? You're about to. 2024, whoa, mother of air, okay? So I definitely feel like you are someone who is meant to be seen as majestic as a prized valued person of rarity that's walking this planet with a ball filled of compassion and even on your energy card here we have a just a pink big fluttery heart in the middle of the sky surrounded by stars okay just your energy alone will inspire people to believe in love to want to feel it to want to even know if it exists you're the type of person who talks about unicorns and makes people want to see unicorns because you're you keep talking and writing about it so write and talk about this true love you're feeling deep within and watch it come to life you're a very powerful manifester if you guys want to be a part of the monthly mentorship definitely check out fly to level 11.com where we're activating these gifts because temperance this is about coming in into alignment with who you truly are okay so there is some introspection that is happening currently in your life right now to prepare you for this togetherness and so let's just see what's the overall energy and love the sun okay why is this coming out in seemingly reverse if you think about what you've experienced and it doesn't feel good that is confirmation that you can let it go and rewrite your story. Start to imagine the life you desire to experience with another. Stop focusing on what didn't work out or what's what you tried to force to work out or who didn't align or whatever the case may be. Um, even with indecision, there you go. Spirit saying, you're the magician. Look into the mirror. Which version of you do you want to attract in another version? Align with that version and attract it. Okay. You are letting go of who you used to be. You're going through a very deep spiritual awakening is something that I'm hearing. And so what does spirit want you to know? Guidance for 2024. Authenticity. Sovereignty, independence, and uniqueness to be honest with yourself about what it is that you truly desire. And if it's not that, send it back. It's like getting the wrong plate. Are you just going to eat it and just settle for it? And just, well, I'll just, I guess I'll just eat this. No, send it back. Let the, you're telling the universe, you're telling the reality, this is not mine. I know my person, my person's compassionate, kind, considerate, financially free, living their dreams, hopeful, inspiring, loving, kind, in union with themselves. They care to better themselves. Let's get one more message from them since they want to come through so bad before we, before we go cancer, you're, you're, they're here. You either met them already or they are here. Can't wait to see you. I can't make it up. Okay? So you're getting ready to meet someone in 2024. Have fun, Cancer. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to Leo. Leo, what is good? I see you have a whole new 
who knows? Let's just see what this is about because you have a lot going on here. Leo, Leo, overall energy for 2024. Leo, whoa, your energy is changing, Leo. This is the first time in a long time that I'm feeling very optimistic about love. And in, in the sense of for yourself, maybe you've been optimistic for others, but maybe you have not have seen it for yourself. I'm seeing a lot more fantasy in your life. So you could be attracting a water sign, could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, could be a Cancer, doesn't have to be, but I definitely feel like you are attracting more fun and fantasy in 2024. Let's see Leo in love. Listen with your heart. You are listening, but you need to hear with a loving heart. So I did feel like there are some detachments, things that you are detaching yourself from, okay, in your love life. Let's see what this is about. Practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. So you're really being asked to open your eyes and see it from someone else's point of view. Leo. I know you may have heard this before, but I'm definitely seeing that you are awakening to more compassion so you can receive more compassion, so you can feel more. There's different types of love, like expressions of love. There you go. Different flavors of love that you can experience. And there's a new flavor that's entering your life. That's not just about attraction. That's not just about physical chemistry. All right, it's more about possibility is what I'm picking up. Let's look at your love life. Whoa, those flew out. Higher font. So there's definitely something that you will have to make a decision on. Let's get why, why is the higher font here in reverse? All right, and then also what else is to come in 2024 for Leo? All right, judgment. Something very big is happening in 2024. A very big realization you will have in 2024 and spirit is saying you've come to this reading as a confirmation that you are hearing correctly and that you are to connect with your intuition and trust what you feel you love what you love is easy you deserve to receive love a different flavor of love one that hits your soul differently, one that awakens something a little bit more in you, one that might feel a little bit more scary and that you don't feel as confident about because it's the unknown. Release control and let your heart lead the way. And that is going to help you make any decision you need to make. What was the song I channeled? Yes. So I definitely feel that there is a deeper love connection you are meant to experience, judgment, okay? There is a connection you are destined and divinely orchestrated to experience in this lifetime with judgment here, okay? This is a very heavy card for you to get, Leo, out of all zodiac signs to get the judgment card. This means that you're already married in the spirit and your soul could possibly be feeling it. Let's see what this is about. Judgment, why are you here? Judgment. Strength, Leo, energy, you. It's like you're not meant to settle. You're meant to be with someone who is reflecting the great lion within you, your confidence within you that brings it out of you and you're not settling. All right, the right person will bring this out of you. It'll bring this authenticity authenticity, strength, courage, and bravery out of you. This person, the right person, whether you're with someone or not, it's up to you, will make you want to take a leap of faith. There's a, there's, it's like the lion in you cannot be complacent, even in your love life. You will always aspire to receive more. So there is a commitment that you could possibly be a part of. There's something stable that maybe you want to be stable or or thought was gonna be stable here. Let's get some confirmation on why we have two of my committed cards in reverse for Leo in 2024. We have four of pentacles, protection, or four of air. So perfection, four of air. Let's see why this is here, okay? Because I definitely see something's gonna be revealed. I wanna get this. 
and then I want to get guidance on what you're trying to tell them about this higher font in reverse. There's something that's orchestrated for you in the spiritual realm. If you're already a part of something, you may already know it might not be divinely con connected. It may be a relationship, but you know there's one relationship. Leo, you know in your heart there's a specific relationship you desire to experience. And that's where 2024 is like, you're going to be real with yourself and, and with the judgment. What is your advice? Trust. Yeah, you have to trust with your, what you're seeing and what you're feeling. All right. So we have despair. Yeah. So we have the eight of pentacles, something that you've been working on, something that maybe you thought was solid, committed, whatever this may be. If you're not in a relationship, I feel like you're not in a space where you're open to something that is as serious as commitment because there's a divine counterpart that you're either waiting for or you're aligning with. I want to get their energy judgment. Swiftness. Yes. So you are correct. Those of you who are single and you're waiting and maybe you're just, just not choosing to settle in certain situations or maybe people come and go, that's for you. There is someone coming in in a swiftness, judgment, and this is someone you know that you're connected with already. Like you can feel it. Judgment, okay? Now, if you're already in a relationship, the same thing applies. In your spirit, you could be feeling that there's a deeper connection that's meant to be experienced, whether it's with this person or a new person. Let's get, some, for the singles, those love life, not in a relationship, the swiftness, what is this about? And those in a relationship, what is this about? Thank you, death. Can't make it up if you're in a relationship. Death, why? Love. You're on, you're aligning with true divine love and compassion. We have Scorpio energy here. We have Taurus energy here. All right, so we have grief. Look at this, okay? So I don't know why that's here. I don't even want it to be here, to be honest. What's their guidance here? Winning victory. All right, so we have grief. So we definitely have sadness here. Three of swords here. Maybe you're just simply not ready to receive more because you're still in a situation or focused on something at the time that this person comes in. Either way, you're destined for victory. You're destined for success and outcome. Overall, with the strength card here, remember who you are is what I'm getting, Simba. Your reflection. Remember who you are. Your person should be reflecting that version of you. Okay? They should be reflecting that ver version. So you have a decision at the bottom of the card here to make. You will have a decision to make in 2024 on what it is that you want to experience for your love life. Let's get a text message from someone. If you're currently with someone or in a situation, let's see what they want to say. I feel different when I'm with you. Let's get one more card from that person. If they're connected with anyone right now intimately, what would their higher self say? I love your vibe. And their higher self would say, I don't know how to communicate my emotions. So priestdex.com if you guys want this text message deck. What I'm getting here is that whoever you're connected with, relationship or situationship, if you this is you, they do not know how to express their emotions. They're coming up as the baby lion, the version of you that is still trying to roar. And your roar is looking to come out and therefore your partner should be mirroring that. So whoever this person is, they do feel different around you. They do have a connection with you. You'll see this in 2024, but they don't know how to express their emotions. Now, the person that you're attracting, last card, you are my son and they're not ready for a relationship. And I believe that may be you too. You have a lot that you're focusing on. You're focusing on winning, victory, success. And whoever this person is, think about it. They would just bloop, come into that frequency. And if they're being birthed, mm, this is great, yes. If they're being birthed through this frequency of success and victory, guess who that partner you're attracting will reflect? Success and victory, okay? So this is who you're attracting here. So yes, there's despair here. There is despair and grief, whether it's with family, friendships, leaving things behind, old things that belong to the old version of you. Yes, there will be that, but you take it or leave it. Once again, resonating, you are my son. So you are manifesting someone who are the, is the center of your universe and vice versa and are mirroring the authentic version of you. This version of you wouldn't be afraid to communicate emotions. So therefore who you're attracting 
who you're connecting with in the 5D judgment in your dream world, who you know, I wonder if there's someone out. That feeling wonder is coming from a knowingness that there is someone who can communicate and fulfill those desires. So if you're a Leo, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I'm gonna move on to Virgo. Virgo, you could definitely be on the cusp of a Leo and a Virgo because I'm feeling like this could be a continuation. It seems very aligned. So the channeled message as I was meditating, yeah, we have the eight of cups that just popped out. You are moving away from something, something very major and significant is going to be revealed to you, Virgo, in the year of 2024 is what I'm getting, okay? In the year of 2024, something very significant is going to be revealed to you and it's going to change the course, I'm hearing, of your love life. I definitely feel like you could be into fashion, jewelry, expression, or something of that nature. If that is the case, that message is for you. That I don't know why that just came through. But there, it's like there's something here. There's a lot going on, a lot. There's a lot of messages coming through for you, Virgo. And I'm feeling like your guides are going to be very loud and, and communicate with you a lot in 2024, especially about your love life. If you're looking for guidance, guidance has already been guiding you. It's just whether or not you want to be open and accepting to the guidance that is being given to you, okay? We have focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. So yeah, something is going to be revealed and I just feel like it's going to set you free. It's going to bring you peace. It's something you've been questioning and wondering for a long time. And in 2024, I feel like it's going to be bringing you peace. Actions speak loudly. So you don't allow people to reveal who they are. Sometimes I'm feeling like what you do is you, you save them before they can reveal themselves because you're afraid of what you might see in others. And I just feel like your intuition is very loud. And I, I sense that, you know what, you may be the female, the more yin female energy when it comes to earth signs, when it comes to intuitiveness, because there is a very delicate intuitiveness that you have with the universe that you could be overlooking, you're very connected to the spiritual realm is what I'm getting. And that's why the messages are wanting to come through a lot from many places. You can be very active in your dream world. I'm getting like a dream catcher could be significant. It's like these little things that you do, you don't realize they're aligning you and your intuition. And I feel like out of all three earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, you may be the one that's most sensitive to the female energy, to the feminine energy, compassion and intuitiveness and feeling. And it's actually a gift is what I'm getting because not every earth sign is as aware. And I'm just picking up with you, Virgo. It seems like you're like the water sign of the earth signs. Like you're very connected to your emotions a little bit more than Taurus and Capricorn. Yes, you're focused on career and the practical, but you're actually in your feels a lot more than the others is what I can say, all right? As far as me being a Capricorn, I can definitely feel that. Page of Swords, what else is here for 2024 for? Thank you, Virgo, I almost said Cancer. So yeah, you're giving me water signs for sure. Seven of Pentacles, patience, why? Because it's going to take the right person to align with this version of you, the world card. You are closing out cycles and you are starting a new one, a very promising one that will last for a long time in your career as well with the Seven of Pentacles here. So I see a money tree that you've been watering for some time in fruit, which is the money growing on it. So I definitely feel like there's a new cycle that is beginning. And this cycle is actually bringing you more to your desires of fulfillment. And that has to do with just being surrounded by people you love. It's like being successful and not being surrounded with love and others is like, it's not an ideal for you. You'd rather be surrounded with others and love and live in a box. Granted, you'll never have to because you're a Virgo, but it's you would prefer the love over anything else. And that's why you're, yeah, celebration. I see you. I see a lot of events. I see a lot of coming together. My 
gosh, why was I, why was I way back there? All right, I see you getting ready to celebrate, okay? Have a lot of events, all right? And yeah, just don't overthink it, okay? It's easier than you're making it. Relax, allow love to come in. The universe is doing all the work, okay? I'm getting for you to just chill, to just chill. Let it come in, six of pentacles, reciprocation, equal reciprocation, equal give and take, all right? Also in your finances, I'm hearing financial freedom as well so that you can enjoy this love that you are attracting into your life. We have the world card here, so you will be exploring a lot in your love life, and I'm, I'm seeing that you desire to have a family tree here with the family portraits, Okay, well, these cards came out. We're going to take it. That's another sign as well. There's a reason why you're seeing certain signs. There's a reason if you do see certain cards and there's a reason. It's like you're intuitive naturally. You're just naturally intuitive is what I'm getting. And this is a realization I'm having for the first time for you, Virgo. We have bravery, seven of air to be yourself, bravery to be yourself, bravery to be around people who inspire you to wear your heart on your sleeve, all right? Son of water, so we have the page of water or the knight of water. So the knight of cups and the knight of swords and the hermit, Virgo energy. So you are here and you are in a sense coming up as a philosopher or someone who's deep, someone who's connected. And I'm sensing that you have power beyond more than what you can use on your own. It's not something you have to worry about, be anxious about. You are attracting a knight of cups here. And I believe you're not having to do anything to receive it with the hermit card. This is coming through introspection of aligning with introspection. So this is, you are the, the hermit, you are Virgo. So it makes sense, I guess, for you to be more intuitive, more connected. All right, let's see what else we have here because we have all these cards here and they're all kind of coming together. So let's just go with it. Okay, spirit, victory, six of air. So what this tells me here is that you will have victory. You will have victory in what it is that you're doing, victory in your success, victory in your career, three of cups. You're just meant to be surrounded with love, doing what you love, having the bravery to go towards this having the bravery to let go of your love life and allow the universe a little bit more control as to how it can be delivered, being open to receiving in different aspects and areas. Let's see what the overall energy is, okay? Since we have victory and we have hermit, why do we have both of these cards here? Thank you. Healer of the ages, victory, that's crazy. Now, Leo also got victory, so you could be connected with the Leo or connecting action. So I see victory coming in. So definitely a huge change in your career is happening in 2024. You walking away from something, okay, with the Six of Pentacles, it was something that you were giving to where maybe you weren't receiving back as much. Could be a career, could be a person, could be a friendship, could be a situation, Page of Swords, something that you could not see for some time. But with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like your fruit tree, your money tree is growing. You've been very patient. The world is here. So there's a new cycle that's being presented, one of victory. All right. Awakening you to your purpose. It's deep. It's deep. It's not just like, oh, yeah, OK, 2024, you meet a lover. Like, no, no, it's way beyond that. So who is the Six of Water? me confirmation on who the six of water is okay six of water six of water who are you would be the knight of cups knight of cups knight of cups who are you son of water okay you being yourself having the bravery to do this leads you to a son of water who is this son of water wheel of fortune someone you are destined to meet okay we have blackjack hit the jackpot hit the blackjack hit 21 um so this is someone that you are destined to meet 
It is in your fortune. It is in your destiny to be in a, let's see, what is the will of fortune? Love at the bottom. You are destined to be in love. I'm, love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So you must feel worthy of the, the love that you are desiring and asking for. So being open to receiving that in another person, within another person, having the bravery to let the universe deliver it and you not try to deliver this person, okay? Meaning you try to go find this person. Don't go try to find them. They will come to you. Everything that's meant for you will come to you, Virgo. Fly to level11.com if you guys want to be a part of group mentorships every month. Okay, the first 44 people are always free every month. So if you guys want to be a part of that and learn more about introspection and allowing things to come to you, communicating with the universe, I definitely want to invite you there. So healer of the ages, I just feel like whoever this person is that you're manifesting in 2024, you may have a revelation of them. You may have a peak of it, which inspires you to leave away from what is not of it. Okay, so what is the, the guidance here and what you're telling Virgo? Confidence. To have confidence in what you're asking for, pride, poise, and assurance, and to be sure and certain of what it is that you desire. So I definitely feel like what you can experience is to close out a very difficult chapter in your love life, to be open to celebration, love, ease, um, not having to work hard or make something happen or put so much effort into something, that love is what makes it work, that's what makes it easy. Remember, if you love it, it's easy. What you love is easy. It's not hard to love what you love. It's very easy. And it's not something you have to find. So this is something that you're learning here and having the bravery to trust it, it's what's manifesting the right people around you. Okay, so I definitely see that as well in victory. Now let's close out and understand what is this victory about? We're gonna leave with one more one more. It's everything you've been waiting for. It's like worth the wait is what I'm hearing. Worth the wait. So in 2024, what is the overall energy and what they will experience in their love life, Virgo? It's like you want things to be so bulleted and so categorized and exactly chronological. And we've got to have a little bit more flow come in. All right. A little bit more flow is what the universe is saying. Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Again, having a little bit more flow, allowing this to happen. When, when I say being open, it means don't know. Because once you know, you limit it. And without getting too much into it, I will say that if I told you you were going to meet this perfect person in the state, and I named a state, and I named a street, and I said you were going to meet them, I can't even give you a name in a street because you actually might think that, that this is it. It's, it's like you think you can figure this out. It's like trying to figure out how the sun comes up every day. This is a very divine connection that you're desiring, even with your people and your friendships that you're desiring to embrace. And so not less figuring it out, more flow. When you don't know, it can be delivered anywhere. So if I were to tell you specifically where it's coming, it's not that it can't be delivered specifically there. It's just as soon as I tell you that, what does that do with your energy and attention? It, it runs to that state and that street. And you can't stop it because your self desires this so bad it's willing to do anything to get it. That is the truth. But you don't have to manipulate reality and do all that. That's why I said fly to level11.com because I'm, I'm teaching. I'm, I'm getting ready to leave, but there's something in your spirit that wants to know more about this. And it's because... There's a divine version of you that you wish to experience in another. This person is healed. So in order to receive that in another, you have to first receive it in yourself. You literally have to get used to, to feeling this love overwhelmingly flowing without having no control because there's no point of sending love in if you're just going to control it, put bullets on it, put little color stickers on it and label it and categorize it and do all this. We try to do that with all of these spiritual unseen worlds. So my last point here is that's why when it comes to tarot and telling you guys exactly where and when you're limiting it, spiritual world does not work on time. It's not constructed and defined into conditions. It's not of the conditional world. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about love, 
peace, bliss, joy, happiness, all of the being states of beings that we wish to experience here on this planet is not something you can go buy at a store. It's not something tangible. So you must be open to receiving this in an untangible way, meaning not in a construct way. And that way it could be delivered today, soon. Soon, because there's no other date I will ever say where you're like, oh, okay. No other time feels better than now to get what you desire. So any time I give you will feel bad because you desire to have it now. And that's because you do. But once again, I can't get into this with you, Virgo, okay? Join level11.com or go to the tarotchest.com if you guys want to learn more about your supernatural abilities and how to connect, okay? Because there's more to this and I believe that's what you're going to understand. But it all comes back down to allowing it to be delivered. Allow your desires to be delivered. Open up. Don't know so it can be delivered anyway, all right? Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I am moving on, Virgo. Libra, what is good? All right, so, wow, Libra. I don't even know what's, where to start with your love life, okay? There's definitely some interesting messages coming through. We're gonna start with just the overall energy just to guide all of this into one place, okay? Libra. All right. We have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. All right. One more. It's like embrace your emotions, allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So you have feelings and you don't know why in 2024. You have these deep feelings and this deep connection. I love you. These are powerful words, okay? And whoever this is, I definitely feel like you're going to be having some old situations resurface. Yeah, we have attachment at the very bottom here. And I feel like you're going to have someone come back from the past or someone is in your energy. They might want a second chance. This is more so of giving me another version of you. You're ready to experience a newer version of you and another person. And in order to do that, you must be open to receiving something differently is what I'm getting, okay? So Spirit's saying, will you say yes to something new in 2024? Will you say yes to something new that's meant for you? Six of Wands, there's something that is destined for you here, okay? And they're in, people are watching or people are around and they are seeing it and witnessing it and your love is what is inspiring others. This is a love you are meant to discover all right, it is very 5D comes to reality. Lots of fantasy, could be with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who brings out this emotion in you, will and fortune, will of fortune, 2024 is to bring you the understanding and the comprehension that this is destined for you. A successful, loving relationship that brings you happiness and also inspires others, which means brings others together brings family together, brings love together. What else is here for Libra? All right, Ace of Wands. So Libra, 10 of Swords. Yes, High Priestess. All right, so yes, it's time to put an ending to past situations that no longer are resonating with your spirit at all, even in the friendship realm. I'm hearing that your relationships are going to start reflecting the version that you are becoming. Ten of Swords. There's There's been a lot of backstabbing, a lot of betrayal, a lot of people taking your kindness for weakness here. Ten of Swords. Things that are being uncovered that you're like, no, not you. We were bros, like not you. Like not you. All right? It's some things that need to be revealed here so that you can see that it's blocking you from your destiny. Could be an artist, could be a creator. This is waking up something within you. It might be inspiring you to write. It might be inspiring you to dream, to draw the person you wish to experience, whether you're in a relationship or not, but I'm seeing 10 of swords. So six of wands, let's look at the people in a relationship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
So that's telling me there's a lot going on here if you're in a relationship, five of wands in reverse. Okay, so you are meant to be in your empress energy, your creative energy, whoever makes you feel like you're in a fairy tale, whoever's like, oh my goodness, this is inspiring me to write a book. This is inspiring me to write a song. This is inspiring me to create a, a movie, a series, a painting, going to the gym app. It doesn't matter what it inspires. If it's inspiring a version of you, a different version of you, that's how you know this is a soulmate that is going to bring you more fulfillment than the last. Cause I see you will manifest and connect with a lot of people and soulmates. You're meant to six of wands. People are, are connected to you. You're connected through people, but ace of wands, you have a very new beginning in, in chapter in romance. And also ace of wands, this is passion. So the high priestess, your intuition is obviously guiding you here and leading you here to getting, to getting this. And the will of fortune is also understanding that this is destined for you. How do you know it's destined for you? It's something that you dream about something that you dream about experiencing ace of cups can't make it up so you have a beginning you have a beginning in passions purpose your creativeness and it's connected with love the more in love you are the more cre creative you will feel the more you will want to create even making children having babies is creation and that comes through pleasure so you are very very inspired to create and so we have love at the bottom two of cups so, and to also manifest and bring this love in, why is this Ace of Cups here? What is this new beginning about in 2024? Okay, we have the Four of Air. And we also have the Daughter of Fire. So I definitely see that you are going to have someone around you where you will have crushes, you will have soulmates, but there's someone that you're destined to be with, with the Wheel of Fortune. Why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Libra, for Libra? Daughter, I can't make it up. I can't, I cannot. Wealth, okay? You're destined to be with someone, okay? Now this version, whoever this is, they're a version of you that you're becoming. And it's destined, it's aligned. You guys are mirroring each other. This is the first time we've had a counterpart come up in the Zodiac reading in this, in this video today. So this is something that you're meant to experience and it comes, what I'm sensing here, it, it's coming from, it has a lot of stability. It's providing you a lot of stability. It's providing you a lot of certainty and security as well, even in knowing that true love is real and exists. So you connecting with this feeling, even in your imaginative room, is actually bringing this closer. Whether you're with this person or not, I'm sensing for most of you Libras, this is a, a divine connection that is meant to happen. But for some reason, you may not have been as confident about receiving this. Why is that with the Wheel of Fortune, Libra? Dreaming, because you think it might just be a dream but you're connected to a community and tribe. As I mentioned, you think you're just dreaming about this, but you're at a distance in the 5D. You are already connected to this person, all right? You are not crazy. You are actually a lover. So it makes it's very easy for you to attract this and to express this. So this is what's making it very easy for you to attract this. Now, what's the energy of your love life going to be in 2024? Happy family, the temple path. You're, you're on a path towards this happy family here okay and this is someone you can trust this is a version of you that is mirroring you the version you are becoming this is a very youthful side of you very inner child very fun they're a lot of love you're dreaming about this person you will dream about them you will connect with them in your astrals through your creativeness through your creative world you will connect with them you're being led down a temple path directly towards this person by your high priest, the version of you that's within you, okay? This is what you're experiencing. This is very powerful. So let's get some text messages from this person that you're manifesting and, and let's see what's happening here. From their 5D, I'm lucky I found you. This person, once again, I found you. You guys are looking for each other. This is sounds like some movie or some romantic 
rom-com series here that we're getting. You're connecting with this person and you're desiring to meet them. It's a version of you you're becoming. Songs remind me of you. So this person could be an artist. You can be an artist. You can inspire, once again, could inspired by music, inspired to create music, inspired to create anything because of this person. Is there anything else from the 5D from this person for singles? And even if you aren't, if you want to know, I want you. And let's see what else is here. I don't have time for a relationship. Okay, so this person could definitely be busy at the moment right now and bad at relationships. So I definitely feel like, see what this is about. Who is this? I don't have time for relationships. Forgiveness. Once again, this person is very connected. So you have a lot of people who still, of course, you they've experienced true love. They've, they've gotten a taste of euphoria and they have not forgotten about you and their energy is there. But as long as you're becoming this new version, it's irrelevant because you no longer resonate with this. And so love and act on it. Find out what's important to those you love and act on it. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So once again, letting go of what didn't work out, having a clean slate and love and allowing this to happen. Now, what's going to happen in 2024? And that's the thing. Four of Wands. I don't see you meeting this person in 2024. I see you preparing and aligning yourself. Look at, you have both of my marriage cards. No one else got these cards. You're preparing to receive it. And so we think we're being patient with the universe, being patient with yourself to receive this love. So you will start with, with receiving love through community where people will do things that no one has ever done for you. People will give you gifts you've never received before. People will give you compliments you've never received. It's the universe preparing you for this love because it's so overwhelming. Allow your creativeness to flow. What you create comes to life. That song comes to life. That movie comes to life. That script comes to life. Write, connect with this person. Draw this person. Talk to them. Like, really get to it. Okay? Since you want to meet them so bad, go, go meet them. All right? I'm moving on. <laughs> So the next one, also fly to level11.com if you guys are interested in mentorship where I talk a lot about attracting this and connecting with this. In the meantime, I'm moving on to Scorpio. I'm out. Scorpio, let's see what the overall theme is for your love life in 2024, Scorpio. I feel like when you meet the right person or if you've met the right person, what I'm hearing, 2024, you should know that it's a sure Think, meaning there would be no questioning, a sure thing. All right. You could be an artist. You could be a musician. You could be awakening to your gifts through love and connections, but not understanding why this is happening. We have have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So what is this patience? I keep saying with everyone is that it's not about being patient with the universe. It's about being patient with ourselves and receiving all of the love we're desiring to experience. We can only receive as much as we allow ourselves. What are you saying to Scorpio in 2024? You're saying to ask for help. Your guides are saying, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So once again, be willing to be open to this. Consider your foundation. Do you want to commit? Do, what do you want? Do you want love? And what does that mean? Because you always have love. You are love. You cannot not have what you are. It's like me saying, do you want your arms? It's like you, it's a part of you. It's who you are. You don't need anyone to get this. However, there's, therefore, in order for you to commit long lastingly, it would have to be something that is deeper. You're looking for something deeper. Overall energy for Scorpio. All right. The 11th Zodiac I'm doing today, which means look at these cards. Only you, only you Scorpio can pull these cards out. Because no one else did. I shuffled them how many times? 
and none came out. Therefore, every sign that comes out is meant for you to see. Spirit is saying there's there's a, a sense of a little bit of hard headedness when it comes to listening to your heart. OK, eight of pentacles overworking, trying to figure something out here. Two of wands, which way to go? Which one is who? Which one is the one? If you have to ask which one is the one, you have not found the one. It's like finding a purple Skittle in a bag of other ones and saying, how do I know if this is the only one, the only purple one? You can see clearly that out of all of them, that's the one, okay? And I don't know why they're giving it to me this deeply, but they're just saying that it's not that hard and it's really not that deep. And even though it may sound to you and that's why you have such a beautiful gift and it's cool because I'm getting to learn more about your guys's personality traits, which are your zodiac signs of self. In Scorpio, you have a way of making simple things sound really deep. You're hella deep. Lots of introspection here, but it's actually not that deep. But because you make it that deep, you think it's that deep. <laughs> See what I'm doing here? Like, this is you. Because listen to what I said and understand that that just made sense there. And that's probably what you do in your relationships. And they're like, what? So it's going to take a very special person to be the purple Skittle out of the whole bag of yellow, red, and blue. Okay, it's like picking up two red and blue saying, is this the purple? Is this the one? It's like, obviously not, if you can't see that it is. Whoo, deep, deep, deep. I love it. I love it. Tower, Scorpio, energy coming out, okay? So you also go through a lot of unnecessary things. And so I see in 2024 here with the tower, something very unexpected is going to come in and also change the course of your life, okay? So this is something, It's that's interesting because the song I channeled for you was Miguel, Sure Thing. And of course, the message is about being the one. Okay, you're going to have a lot of not the ones. Look at this, seven of cups. I can't make it up. I, and that's rhyming. So you could be an artist, a musician. So you are very connected to your guides. They're communicating. Right now, they just communicated through four or five different ways. So you're very co connected to the universe and you're very gifted. So I don't know if you've completely felt activated in this, but it's necessary to use it as an advantage, okay? So you will have many options that come along in your pathway in 2024, but are they the one? The one is going to come out of nowhere, the tower. Now, the seven of cups, page of pentacles, many people will have offerings, but they will be pages. Pages meaning that they haven't really went that deep just yet. They can't really keep up with you is what I'm really sensing. Five of pentacles. So you will be leaving some people out in the cold that I feel like are still in love with you is what I'm getting. Queen of Wands, but I just don't see that being aligned here with the Queen of Wands. Okay, you're being aligned with a star is what I'm hearing. That is the final confirmation. You're, you could be a star, you could be getting into your star power, but you're aligning with the star and even a Queen of Wands isn't enough. So you may come across people who are like, they, they're attractive, they feel like they fit it, they're aligned with the list, but they're just not really hitting it on the nail. And you're like, is this the one? Is this the one? And you're bringing me all of these options. And I'm telling you, as your oracle, if you're bringing me any options, it's because it's not it. Think about it. If you're looking for the one and only, you will spot it in a room full of every one because it's the one and only so they will stand out but you have to see them and right now it's tough to see them with all of the people in your way so if you're entertaining options if you have options it's like just let it go it's a waste of time it's what i'm hearing in 2024 it's a waste of time okay father of water okay let's see what this is about 
this person. I feel like you have a divine counterpart. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy. Someone is coming in. This is a very deep, emotional, fulfilling connection. Water, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And once again, this is a water sign here with the cancer. So it's a very deep intellectual and emotional connection. It's a very specific one to you. A it's a version of you that has awakened that many people you've been meeting has not awakened to just yet. You're meeting a lot of versions of you, older versions before, and you're inspired to love or help or whatever the case may be. It's not your job to save anyone. This person's already saved. Your person's already saved. They don't need you to save them. Then it wouldn't be depend. It wouldn't be unconditional love. That would be a condition. There are no conditions here. Judgment. This is looking in the mirror, looking at yourself. Okay, really reflecting on what it is that you want. Go deeper, because you get everything you want. But what is it that you desire? Which means, what is it? Like, go deeper. All right, and that's the energy of the person I'm picking up right now. They're not even on the board yet because you have to see yourself first. But we have the daughter of water. You're attracting a lot of younger in the spirit, but you're now looking for the mother of water, okay? The, the one that it doesn't, they don't have to be a male or a female. This is a person who mirrors that same version within you that you're attracting, okay? Let's get the overall energy for 2024 for Scorpio, love strategy it's not coming through strategy and you're learning that you've already went that way you've already tried working hard it's coming the tower unexpectedly it's nothing you have to do all you're doing now if you want to meet that person is go connect with them fly to level 11.com also there's something there's a mentorship every month that i'm doing there maybe you guys could be a part of that as a group mentorship because that you're very connected very very connected there's a few signs that are very look at this six chakra i can't make it up okay you're very 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 connected your third eye is here so you can see you're aware your gifts are already active now it's just using them um you're connecting with a lot of older versions of you like i said the younger version of you in the spiritual realm the version of you before you've discovered more of yourself like that's not where you are anymore so now it's about opening up and allowing yourself to use that energy okay and and use this energy manifest what you desire you're a creator so through your art is also something that i'm hearing through your creations is how you will bring this person in if you have not already but it's a deep reflection especially if you if you're in a connection or you find yourself in a connection in 2024 you see that there's it, there's not the one here there's a lot of things going on but that person is still not standing out here now let's connect with that person where are you because i know i feel something here very deeply daughter of water okay what is this about for scorpio in 2024 love is this someone they know currently the sun card you may meet them or have met them already with the sun card here so the sun, this person, ace of air, it's going to take a very new perspective, okay, to equilibrium, but you guys are very connected here. You'll know who I'm talking about because you'll know they're the one. Once again, if you're questioning, that's your answer. I'm sorry I got to keep it so deep with you, but it's like we got we to gotta wake you up so you can get closer to what you truly desire because you're desiring it. You're, you're literally thirsting, hungering for this feeling, even on your card, your image has a heart. All It's probably the brightest one out of everyone. Let's just see. The brightest one out of everyone, standing out. All of that purple, purple, crown chakra, third eye chakra, all right? So the sun card, the ace of air, this is a new perspective to equilibrium. You will have to decide. But in 2024, I see the sun card here and it's looking very, very bright. So if you guys are Scorpio, this is your reading. I'm going to move on to the last zodiac sign after your guidance. Guidance from the universe regarding love life in 2024 for Scorpio. Thank you. Waiting. Okay, so instead of waiting for the one, prepare for the one. Get ready now as if you were meeting them now. And when I ask people if they were ready, 
you got to be honest with yourself. We got to be honest with ourselves. If we love ourselves, it's a bare minimal requirement to just be honest with ourselves as well. Letting God in is being honest with ourselves. And when I say, are you ready? You really have to be honest and feel how close do they feel? Are you six months ready to meet this person? Are you two weeks ready? To, and you will know and you will feel it. All right, I am moving on to the next zodiac sign. Sagittarius, I'm out. Sagittarius 2024. What is going to be coming to you in love in 2024? At the bottom, we have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So I see that though you are going to be loving and you have a heart and a love for others, there's definitely a desire to put yourself first, okay? That's something that's coming through very strongly is what I was getting, putting yourself first. These, out of all cards, you are my last, which means these were really meant for you, okay? We have Leo energy, strength here. We have queen of cups in the reverse. We also have the four of pentacles, so you holding on very tight in 2024 to something that you feel like is bringing you stability, but it is a four out of a 10, right? So imagine ranking something a four out of a 10. It's not even halfway fulfilling, but you're holding on to it, um, desiring not to want to let it go. This is, this could be anyone. Okay. We have the queen of cups. Who is this? All right. So this is, look at all these people here. We have king of swords, we have the queen of pentacles. So this is multiple people. Take it or resonate whether you're in a relationship or not. But moving away, let's just see what are all the cards that you have here because this is for you. Okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Whatever is here is meant for Sagittarius to see. The star card, justice, okay? So there's a lot of involvement with others. And I see that pulling your energy back is really going to be necessary in the year 2024 for you to have the strength and the courage to pull that back now why do we have both of our queens in reverse spirit the sun in reverse because you are aligning with more happiness and joy in your life it's time for you to receive i see you have a giving hand but i see the universe wants to give more to you all right, so we have the Knight of Swords. I see this coming in very quickly with the Star card, having hope in something different, having justice in your love life is coming in actually. Can you be open to this? All right, we have deception. So there's something that could be preventing you from receiving this in 2024. It's gonna be revealed to you. Let's see why is deception here? Because journey is here. Spirit is saying it's time to take a journey on your own you could have been taking one on your own, but really on your own. Get to know yourself deeper, deeply. Okay, look at this, the thinking man. All right, we have a lot of decisions that are going to have to be made that involve connection. Okay, I'm hearing there's so much. There could be court, the court system. Okay, whether that's getting married, getting a divorce, court system changes. For you, Sagittarius, I'm also seeing that there is some deception here. People are not being who they truly say they are. And I see that taking a step back will help you see clearer. It's like being this close to people in your life. It's blurry. But taking a step back, you can see and read a little bit more clear. And that's what spirit is trying to do is pull you away from this energy. Let's pull up your card here pull you away to this energy and to pull you towards the green, this heartfelt space about you, making it about you is what I'm getting here, okay? So let's see what else is here for the energy. All right, angel of strength. So yeah, you are being gifted. You are being granted. You are being covered by an angel of strength to give you the bravery to choose yourself in certain decisions. That is what taking your power back is, is having more time to yourself. Being, you're gonna realize once you start to take care of yourself even more, how much time you thought you had that you actually don't. Because there's so much, right? There's your body and your teeth and your hair and 
you got to eat and make sure you're putting in the proper sleep and you have to hydrate the body. I mean, taking care of the body alone is like having an actual vehicle, filling it up with gas, eating. It's an actual vehicle. Then you have your mental health. Then you have your emotional health. How do you feel? Because everything you're attracting is based on how you feel. That's why when you look good, you feel good. You feel good. Everything plays a part in how you feel. So that's what's important right now is the sun and the stars. What is it that you desire to experience? It's And it's like you desire to be connected with people and family and community and being surrounded. But there's a journey of self that I see that you're taking or being led to take in the year of 2024. So let's see what, what is that about for Sagittarius? Okay. Son of fire, the star twice. Is that a coincidence? I shuffled 12, div I mean, more than 12 times, probably 12 times three, because I used this deck multiple times. And here you are with two stars. There's something you're overlooking your destiny because of the distractions of other. You have to, this is what choosing yourself is. This is where your happiness is, okay? It's not in your circumstances. I see those changing very quickly, very rapidly, but can you be open to that? Can, be, can you be hopeful and optimistic to receive that? Spirit, what else do you want them to know? All right, what is it that they're gonna be experiencing in 2024? All right, we have the Hierophant in reverse, so that's something being more open to acknowledging the truth being honest with yourself, being honest with conditions. Is this a role you really desire to play? Is your cup full and then you're giving from the overflow of it or are you pouring out of your cup? Are you giving to others and they have holes in them? And so everything you're giving, they're not even retaining and you're compromising yourself in the process. So we have the higher font in reverse. There's a need and I'm glad that you're here. I want to say it's brave to be here. It's brave to be, to look into the door and see, okay, what is the truth? It's, it takes bravery and strength and courage. And so I'm also seeing not to be so hard on yourself to acknowledge how far you've come. Okay. And to acknowledge and see, and to accept the truth. The truth is your friend. It's guiding you. It's always guiding you, but to go against it and then get mad at it when it turns out to be true, because it is true and it will always be true. It's like you're breaking out of that and understanding it's love, okay? You're meant to be with connections. You're meant to, but you must have a balance. That's why you're the temperance card, Sagittarius. You must have a balance of how much you're giving and receiving. And like I said, once you really take care of yourself, you realize it's a full-time job let alone having kids and others that you feel you may have to attend to because I'm feeling a lot of other people's energy here, okay? What else does spirit want Sagittarius to know? We have acknowledgement, okay? So I definitely think there's a lot that's going to be acknowledged, higher font, we have Taurus energy, to acknowledge and just to accept what the truth is so you can get closer to the truth, which is that you are destined to be in, let's see, Let's see, what is Sagittarius destined to be in? I love you. These are powerful words. So you are meant to be in love, Spirit is saying, in true love. Sagittarius, what is Sagittarius meant? To do something for someone, give your attention to another. So this is all you've been doing, is what I'm getting, is giving your attention to others. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. Love of what? Self. Love. For you to feel it, you must be receiving it somehow. And so I definitely feel for you that there's a lot of hope for restoration in your love life, to believe. And, and sometimes we have to understand if it's not the one, right? If you're in a situation or something, it's not the one. It's, it's always good news. We have to really see things from a, a positive perspective because everything is good. God is good. There's a reason people say that. Literally, take out the O. God is good. When you feel good, you're feeling God. So whatever is feeling good is the presence of God. Where are you feeling good and you love to connect with others and feel? 
but you can only retain how much you can allow yourself to receive. So if you're not receiving an expansive amount of love on a daily basis, because I'm not seeing others give it to you, and if you're not giving it to you, there's a feeling of depletion here in your heart chakra, in your heart space, in love, wanting to feel more, okay? There's a lot of hope coming through, uh, trusting something other than yourself to make this happen, and that you deserve to experience love that is not conditional. And that's where the truth is leading you. And so God, spirit, is leading you to that, is good. So if someone turns out not to be the one, it's from a higher perspective, always good, because that means that there's someone better. I know, I know you've heard this before, but that truly means that there's an experience that is more fulfilling and you have to really connect with what that would be for you to, to feel that. So there's a lot of reflecting on your situations and what's going on, but there's a lot of hope and a revelation about love that I see that's coming in and bringing you courage and bravery. So if you guys are here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. It was an honor to be able to bring this Zodiac reading to you guys. I'm hoping it blesses your soul and opens your heart to receiving more love because you're worthy of receiving love. You're worthy. It's like me saying you're worthy of using your hands. It's you. It's a part of your body. It's a part of what belongs to you. So sending you guys so much love. I'm out.